Got a quick update on uh, detecting the 24 gigs of RAM. I found an article on bcchardware.com and uh, they are talking about 24 gigs of RAM and detection on the ASRock X58 supercomputer. And they said that they had to enable a an option in the BIOS called the flexibility option in order to see all 24 gigs of memory. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find anything in the BIOS of the Rampage 3 Extreme, like a flexibility option that will enable me to detect all 24 gigs of this RAM. 16 gigs is a very strange uh, thing to be locked at. I mean, I already looked for it, but I didn't find anything last time. And it's based on what I'm reading, it's got to be in there somewhere. One thing I've noticed is the post takes quite a bit longer with 24 gigs of RAM. It's not a problem. The system is stable, but um, yeah, it does just take a little bit longer. I also tried this stuff at 1600 MHz, C9, C10, uh, 1.65 volts max, and I was not able to have any success uh, setting that up. So I figured, hey, it's worth a shot, right? So why don't we just go through kind of uh, one by one. So CPU level up, CPU level up, that's just automated overclocking sync mode okay so this allows you to use uh okay not going to be relevant to what we're doing why don't we set the overclock tuner to manual okay oc from cpu level up okay so that's what we already saw before it just went and moved it on us cpu ratio setting cpu configuration maybe it's in here no we already looked in here we need A20M, speed step. I do not see anything in here that even looks remotely like what we need. All of these frequency settings. Oh, memory configuration protect. Maybe that's what this does. Okay, let's try it. Because I, I remember looking at this one last time, and it, to me that looks like um, a lot of the time you have to actually enable overclocking features. Like if you like, you know, see how I set it to manual, and all of a sudden I had options for like uh, setting the CPU multiplier stuff like that. I thought that that was just to prevent you from changing RAM timings or something. But you can see that whether that was enabled or disabled, I still had those same memory options. So why don't we see if that is what preve is preventing us from seeing all 24 gigs of RAM? See if I can kill some more time while we're booting up. Good thing I have an SSD. Oh look, and a knife. So I could open boxes. Speaking of opening boxes, here's some unboxings that I have coming up soon. HyperX RAM fan, couple Kingston SSDs, one of which I will be giving away, so stay tuned. And then I've got a Cooler Master notebook cooler, and then there's the Rampage 3 Extreme box down there. So you've seen that already. All right, let's see what we got here. Task manager. Yes, there we go we have 24 gigs of RAM. So that was it. It was the, the protect option that enabled us to have access to all 24 gigs of memory. So why don't we see if our blend is uh, still stay You know, it's funny. I'm going to have to find a new memory testing program because even using Prime 95 blend, I can't, I can't even touch. I can't even touch the RAM. Um, we've still got 20 gigs of memory free. So, um, yeah, feel free to post a comment under this video if you have any suggestions for a way to actually stress 24 gigs of RAM other than running memtest for like the three days it would take to do a couple of passes. Thanks for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe.